Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys must have known already from the title, I am gonna go a different shade, a different color. I have been just not feeling myself lately. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but I like love to change my hair up. It can either be a haircut or a, like, a hair color change. And you know, like I actually really, really wanna go short, like literally right here, like a short bob. But cutting your hair is something I need to think about, you know, for a while before I actually cut it versus like a hair color. Like I can color my hair, I can bleach it, I can do crazy things with it. But for a haircut, it takes me a while because hair takes quite a while to grow, especially my hair. So cutting hair is more of a bigger um, issue for me. So we'll see about that, but I for sure want to color my hair. I got my hair professionally done. Um, you know, these, this, what, like balayage? I don't think it's really a balayage. It's more like a highlight, like a highlight balayage. It looks really good. Like I have pictures of it and I always like, I keep looking back at it and just, my hair is just so beautiful. She did an amazing job. Um, but I'm just so bored of it. Like I've had this hair color for maybe six months now and I'm just so bored of it. My roots are growing back, like it's black and I don't know, I just need something different. Yeah, so I'm gonna go like a dark red. The color I specifically got is a magenta and this is for dark hair. So my roots are of course virgin hair, I haven't touched them, but then this part obviously is lighter than my roots like a few shades lighter so i feel like if i put this all over it's going to be more like an ombre effect so these will appear slightly lighter which i think is totally fine um but yeah like this is crazy i've never really gone this color i went like a red but it it wasn't supposed to turn out red it was more like a strawberry pink but it looked red it, like it appeared red uh but yeah i ne i've never like purposely went like dark red or red before so this is the first time um i don't want to go like bright red i just want to go like a dark red so i hope that because the bottom pieces of my hair are lighter i hope it doesn't turn like super bright see the reason why i want to color my hair as well is because my hair is turning brassy like i know i could just tone it but keeping up with like blonde light hair is a huge hassle like I actually wanted to go like blonde like straight up blonde but then I was just thinking of all the maintenance and how damaging like going blonde is because you really need to, you need to bleach your hair multiple times to get a really nice blonde color and I just don't know if I want to do that so we're gonna go you know dark red um, just to avoid like all the maintenance and stuff so I got two of these because of course I have a lot of hair and my hair is obviously longer than it was. So like I, like I said, I haven't touched my hair in like six months. So I got two boxes and you are gonna need a developer. So I have like a big bottle of developer. I'm gonna use 30 volume today because you can use this on dark hair. This is permanent hair color and it is gonna lift my roots. For this part, I, I don't think it's gonna do anything much other than deposit color. So it's not gonna lift this, which is totally fine. Um, I just wanted to lift my root, the black, you know, the black roots. So before we get started, I actually feel like it's a good idea to just kind of show you guys how my hair looks like from the back. This is what it looks like, okay? I just want to do this so I know from I know for myself as well, because it's just I love looking back at my videos, like especially the hair videos. The transformations are just insane, whether they turn out good or bad. So yeah, so this is my hair, okay? So like I said, this was professionally done. I do really, really like it, but it's just really brassy now. My roots are showing up. Like I know I can get a touch of and everything, but I just don't, I just don't want to. I just want to go a different color. So yeah, so I'm going to use 30 volume today to lift the dark roots. Um, this color seemed like a really bright red, but because my hair is like very dark, um, I just want to make sure it lifts. I'd rather have it lift, honestly, I'd rather have it lift brighter than it not lifting at all you know so we're definitely gonna go with 30 i was debating between 30 and 40 but i don't want it too bright so we're just gonna stick with 30. Alrighty, guys so i mixed one batch and look how red this is this is so intense 
I really don't want to go bright red though so let's hope it doesn't make me like super like red I'm just so scared for these parts but I mean I'm not crazy blonde either it's just like like, like shades of brown and light brown so I mean we'll see it's just kind of scary all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with applying the product on. I'm gonna face this way, because of course the mirror is this way, so you guys will just see me apply it in the back. You know what, I'm just gonna turn around since I'm gonna do my front anyways. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn. So uh, I'll do the front facing you guys, because I can see in the viewfinder. And then when I, do it from the, when I do my back, I'll just turn the other way. I hope this doesn't stain my skin. Yeah, I hope, I, oh, please don't stain my skin, please. Okay, it's getting kinda hard. I'm gonna turn to the mirror. Alright guys, so I have the color all over the head and I know for sure this is gonna stain because look at my arms. So I definitely should have put Vaseline around my forehead. But it's already too late for that, so I'm just gonna forget it. Um, yeah, it's all over the head. I hope um, I did a good job of applying. I haven't like dyed my hair in a, like a very long time. So let's hope that the hair dye, um, you know, has been dispersed well. Um, so we're just gonna So I'm gonna let this sit for like 25 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out and I'll come back All right guys, I am back. I just finished blow-drying my hair and this is what the color looks like I have so much hair you guys. I feel like Ariel Ariel the mermaid so This is the hair So there's definitely some spots in the hair that are still dark like if I pull this back, you guys can see there's like this portion like right in the middle. Let's do this. And I think that's because um, of the like the balayage. Like the ends are really light because they were already light. So they took the color really well. But then the mid parts are still quite dark. Like the roots are good or they only look good because my scalp is red right now. Um, but other than that, I mean, the color turned out great. I like the color. I just don't really like how the color is uneven. And I know that's just because my hair has so much history behind it. Like I, I went light and dark a few times. So I know that some parts of course won't lift. But yeah, my ends are lighter because they were already pre-lightened compared to my virgin base hair, which is still really dark. So I don't know how this is really gonna look like. I mean, the, my roots and the ends are the same color, but then the mid shaft is a darker shade. I just hope in a few days, once the color wears off, off the scalp, you know, um, hopefully the roots won't look so bad. But I mean, yeah, the color is amazing. I do like it. It is lightly bright, but I could work with it. It's not like a crazy, crazy bright color. I think it looks really bright just because of the ring light as well. Um, like in the sun, it's gonna look really bright, but inside it doesn't look too crazy. So this is the hair color. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, it'll probably look way better with makeup and everything, but I just don't have the time to. So in the next few videos, you guys will see how it looks like with makeup. So. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna make more hair videos because I'm content with this hair color. But if you like hair videos, if you like makeup videos, just anything in general, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video as well. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.